All right, guys, we're back with Ellie, and Breck is at his house oversleeping, so in about 10 minutes, I'm going to tell him training's canceled. Anyway, but what I've got is a dog that now runs around, so that's what I wanted, but that's what I want you guys to think of with the basket, and if you said you didn't use a basket before last Tuesday, I know, but now I understand. You know, this dog understands when it sees this basket, that's the beginning, because if you have had dogs, like this dog was the same thing, that's just had toys randomly everywhere. There was no be beginning or end to that. That's just something that just sort of randomly occurs. So in order to make things less random, you know, because it's going to be, it would be much, much easier to put a different character in the role of the handler it, with as many props as possible. So I think the basket helps with the beginning. So I've got four of them today, but I just wanted to understand, here's the beginning. And then I, I think I'm putting by the footstool. I'm not going to put them too far away. You know, there's now, oh, here's even more precursors. All right now, there's that. And into the basket, staring back. not helping Birdie. She's going to go around in a minute, though. I want to see what this particular dog, the other dog's crowding around, make her do it. Okay. So I'm canning the excitement. I want you to think of that, Janet. You're kind of, yeah, yeah. suddenly, she, they got to say to themselves, it wasn't doing that before. of the sequence so you know if you said well you can't come out later and do that same thing yeah that's what you would want to do rather than kind of randomly setting them down you see that dog is already going back there to check where you put them I'm not sure if you've got any of those little cones use your cone and set the things by the cone and if you said how would that help well tomorrow you can move the cone onto the other side if you wanted and put the things by the cone you're just, it's just giving you an additional if it was me, you know, again, if, if you know, you, you would want them to say to themselves when they see the basket, oh, I know this drill, you know, I'm ready to do it. Not, what are they, what are they doing? You know, what is this? You know, I think the quicker they can be led down that path that you want them to go on, rather than getting there and then trying to get them going, you know, and then I do, I, the basket does allow me the ability to, you know, we need to have this, maybe this is like a good hand signal, you know, that this means, you know, now it's off limits or whatever. You know, but I can repeat the sequence. She's just saying to herself, okay, you know, now I'm going, I can make the, ba I can make this farther away. So she's saying, well, first it touches that, then it goes like that, then it goes back, yay, 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 yay. Then it puts it in the basket. Oh, she's looking at it, trying to see where I'm looking. I'll tell you, he's gonna have to start getting locked up. His name is Birdie. Oh, yeah, oh, yay! Yeah. Oh, oh, yay! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Again, she's saying to herself, it wasn't doing that a second ago. They've got it under. Okay. Okay. Then I'm right back to, you know, the basket just kind of helps me just put it now. It's just, you know, again. Yay. You know, and then again, there's the end again. There's no sort of. And anybody can do it. I'm understanding. The more props we have, now we can honestly probably... Uh, you know what I'm thinking? That this is what you need, Kara. I figured it out. They've got these things that you set in a chair, and it's got a hat and everything. See, she keeps going back over there. 
uh, and then it has its hands out like this and you put bird seed in there and birds come and eat out of its hand and then eventually you sit there with bird seed in your hand. Well, we get that for her and then instead of a place, she sits in its lap. You know, it's sort of like a babysitter mannequin, guys. <laughs> it would probably work though, honestly. If she had an outside lap to sit in or by. Oh, no, 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 you know one of those little benches, it's got like an, already got like a statue on it. You know, and she could sit right by it. You know, because they are needy and you probably inadvertently fed into the neediness. You know, any anybody, if they have a puppy and it starts whining, I mean, any normal response is going to be, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Now you're whining too. Now pretty soon we're all doing it. Now you're whining for real because this thing won't be quiet. So anyway, I think you can see. I hope that helped, Janet. But that's, you know, there's a very... In the beginning, they're not that aware, but as it goes on, you want it to have, there's a very specific beginning and end, so it's not just, you know, and then these things get put up, you know, they're not just out there on the ground, you know, and then they're just randomly picking them up or throwing them around or doing it. That's where people go wrong. All right, you guys.